do I really have to say anymore? Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you love makeup as much as I do, you are in the right place. My name is Kara and I am obsessed with makeup. Please do not mind the hair today. I had to jump on here and show you guys what just came in the mail and I'm so stoked. It's the Wayne Goss complexion line that just released. I got two of the luxury cream foundations as well as the setting powder. We're gonna try everything out today. We're gonna do a wear test and we're gonna see how good or not good these products are and how they last and if they last. I'm sure most of you are into beauty because you're watching this and I'm sure you you have heard that Wayne Goss had come out with a new complexion line. He came out with 12 shades of his luxury cream foundation as well as a setting powder and then a poreless puff, which is like a beauty puff, which I did not get that. I should have, but I didn't. But I did get two shades of the Luxury Cream Foundation, and then I did get the setting powder. Before we get into the product and some details, let me show you the packaging. So the foundations are going to come in this black plastic box, which is very simple. It's got the name, and then it's got your shade right here, and also on the top it has your shade as well. Same goes with the setting powder. It's in the same type of box. And then here is the foundation. It comes in these little jars, which are so cute. And then it has the silver lid on it, has Wayne Goss on the top there. And then it just says luxury cream foundation around the sides. And then on the bottom, it just has your shade and then where it's made. Now the foundations go for $38. They do have a 24 month shelf life and they're made in the United States and there are 12 shades. And then here is the weightless setting powder. It is in the same type packaging as the foundations. And then again, on the bottom, it just has the shade, which is translucent and where it's made. The setting powder goes for $28 and it has a 24 month shelf life and is also made in the United States. Let's talk about the foundation for a second because it's very interesting to me what they're claiming and we're gonna test out what they're claiming. So it's a buildable coverage. You can get a sheer look or you can build it up to get more of a full coverage look. Now, the very intriguing thing that I find about this, when you ask, well, what's the finish of the foundation? Well, I can't give you what the finish is because it's based on your skin. So if you say use a more moisturizing, hydrating primer, you're gonna get more of like a dewy finish. If you use a more mattifying primer, you're gonna get more of a matte finish. So these basically adapt to your skin. I think that is the most coolest thing. I've never heard of a foundation adapting to your skin and not just having a one type of finish. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna use two different primers. I'm gonna use like a hydrating primer on one side and a mattifying primer on the other. And we're gonna see if the finishes look any different and if it's gonna last differently. This is good for all skin types, dry skin, oily skin combination any type of skin type, these are apparently really good for. With his complexion line, he also released a poreless puff, which I should have got, but I didn't. But apparently this poreless puff, if you use that with the foundation, that's what's gonna cover like your pores, it's gonna blur pores, you know, your fine lines and everything. The puff I think goes for $10. I will link that down below as well. I should have gotten it, but I, I didn't even think about it. These went on and I just jumped on it like, you know. There's also, there's no sun screen in these cream foundations. There's no fragrance and it's supposed to be undetectable. About the weightless setting powder, what's really nice about this powder is that this is an undetectable invisible powder. It's translucent and what's really, really, really neat about this, it says that like if you were to put a very shimmery blush or highlighter on and it's just too shimmery for you, you can use the setting powder go very little over top of it, and it's not gonna change the color of your blush or highlighter, it's just gonna tone it down, which I think is really, really neat. This apparently is invisible. It's supposed to feel like absolutely nothing on the skin. It's free from talc and pigment, and it's supposed to blur the look of pores, fine lines, any blemishes, and give you a velvet matte finish. So I got two shades in the foundation. I wanted to get one for foundation and one for like a bronzer. 
but I wasn't sure which shade to get. There was only 12 shades to choose from, and then the pictures, like, they were a little bit dark, so I got shade 10. I'm hoping that that's a good color match. I don't know. And then I also got shade 5, which it, that's going to be for, like, the bronzer. So here is the inside. As you see, it's not touched at all. So I'm gonna swatch this for you, and oh my, it is super creamy. It kind of feels like, like a balm. Here is shade 10, which seems very, very, very light. So there is the swatch for that. And then this is shade 5, which I'm gonna use for like a bronzer. And here is that on the finger, and that. So there are the two swatched. And real quick, I wanted to show you the inside of the setting powder. It's just like any normal setting powder. I didn't take the tab thing off yet. We will definitely get into that when it is time, but what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna prime my face, and I will zoom you in. So I'm gonna prime my face with the hydrating side with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer, and we're gonna put it on this side of the face. All right, so I'm gonna apply the primer here. And technically, if you, which I did my skincare like hours ago, if you didn't want to apply primer, you don't really have to. You could just go with whatever your skincare is and just make sure you put on, you know, a moisturizer beforehand and you should be good. And then on this side of the face, I'm gonna use more of a mattifying primer. I'm gonna use the Milani No Pore Zone, which is mattifying and we're gonna put it on this side of the face. So we're really gonna test out and see if this foundation is going to adapt to what's on my skin. Let me zoom you in and we'll get started. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a sponge on the hydrating side and then I'm gonna use a brush on the more matte side. So I'm gonna go right in with my beauty blender. So I'm gonna start with just very little bit and I'm gonna kind of just like dab it around and then if we need more then I will apply more I think I want to go a little bit in with my finger and just kind of do this maybe because like it's well I don't know. All right, so this is like one application. It's definitely like I did a very little amount, so it is very, very light coverage. I can still see like the redness a little bit. So I'm gonna try and build it up. I don't know how much I like the sponge. Um, I feel like the sponge, well at least this sponge, is kind of soaking it up a little bit, like the, it's soaking the product up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my finger and put it on and then blend it out with the sponge some more and see if that makes a difference. All right, so I put a bunch on my finger and I think I'm gonna do, like it's very creamy. Like don't get me wrong, it is creamy. But I feel like the sponge is just soaking it up and not giving me really any color. So let's try the other side with the brush and see if there's any difference. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm using a Refer 31 brush. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in. Like, and now this is the mattifying side. Now already with the brush, I could see there's more coverage than with the sponge. So this is one application. It's still very light coverage, but it's definitely more than the sponge side. And looking at it, it this side does look more dewy than this side. I'm gonna use the brush for the whole face and try and even this out. So I will say this is very light. I mean, I can't feel, it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin at all. It is definitely 
Like you can feel the cream. Um, I feel like I can't get it built up. I'm actually gonna try and go in directly with my finger and try and kind of smear it out because I'm trying to see if I could build this up. And it says that it's very pigmented, but when using like a brush and stuff, like I don't know if maybe it's just not the right color or what, but I feel like I'm having a very hard time building it up. What's really nice about it is, is it doesn't sit in your pores. Um, I wouldn't say like this cream, which I don't think it claims to be, I don't think it does, but it's not blurring or anything like that. But it does, doesn't look bad on the skin. It, it really doesn't. I think this shade might be a little bit too light for me, but I can make it work because it doesn't match <laughs> my skin. I'm terrible when it comes to shade matching. I mean, maybe a little bit of a darker shade would have been nice, but it is what it is. Both sides seem to look generally the same. I wouldn't say this side is maybe more dewy than that side. I don't know, I don't think so, but what we're gonna do now is I wanna try the darker shade and I'm gonna try it with a brush first and we're gonna go on this side. I'm gonna try and let's, how about we dot it? Let's dot it on there first and then I'm also terrible at picking like bronzer shades when it comes to like the getting like a foundation for a bronzer. But let's try that and then see how that turns out. It does blend, I mean, it blends in really well. And I think that looks really pretty. It looks very natural. So look at that, how, I think that, I, I like that, I really like how this looks are really good as like a bronzer. I'm gonna try the sponge on the other side, even though the sponge didn't really work very well when it came to using it as a foundation, like, you know, for your whole face, but it might look better using it as a bronzer. doesn't look bad. You definitely get a little bit more pigment when you use the brush. Um, so either the sponge or the brush isn't going to be bad. I would say use a sponge or a brush on both sides. <laughs> but let's get a little bit more on here with the brush. And then I'm just going to go over it. The sponge. I actually think that doesn't look bad at all. I think it looks really, really nice. It's definitely giving my skin a little bit of a glow. It's like looking dewy and luminous a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. Um, this side really isn't mattifying. Um, I would say it's maybe a little, like a tad less shiny than this side is, but it's not really like noticeable. So now we're gonna use the setting powder. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna do something a little different. Now it says that with dry skin, you technically don't have to set your face at all with this product. Unless you have a little bit of shiny, then you could do that and whatever. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my entire face on one side and nothing on the other side. Because doing a wear test, I wanna see if any differences with setting and not setting and how this foundation holds up through the day. I'm not even gonna set under my eyes either. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna set on the one side under my eyes, but not on the other side. So I got my brush and I got a little bit in the cap here. And then we're just gonna set this side of the face. I will say there is a no smell at all to either the foundation or this powder. So now this side of the face is set and this side is not. You can see this is still dewy where this is not so much anymore. And I, you can't even tell that there's powder on my face 
at all. All right, all my makeup is on. And like I said, I didn't put anything on my face extra that you didn't see. This side is set, this side is not. So I'm gonna show you a natural light. It is now 11.30. I'm gonna show you a natural light and then I'll check in with you in a few hours. We'll see how we're holding up. And then at the end of the night and we'll talk about the products and I'll tell you my thoughts about it. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so here we are in natural light and please don't mind the noise. It's my neighbor jamming out to music as usual when it comes to summertime. Um, but here is the way the foundation is looking, which I am, I'm really liking the foundation so far. I really am. I think it looks really, really pretty. I didn't put any highlighter on. I didn't. And this is the matte side. <laughs> but I think, I think it looks really, really pretty. So I will check in with you here in a few hours and we'll see how the foundation's holding up. It is currently 5.30, so it's been about six hours or so since the foundation's been on, and so far, so good. Here is an up-close look, and it's not creasing, it's not caking up, it still looks really good. I am really liking this foundation so far, and it's been holding up pretty well, I, I will say that. So again, I will check in with you in a couple hours at the end of the night and we'll see if it stays the same or what happens and I'll tell you my thoughts on the product. All right guys, it is about 8.30 at night, so it's been over nine hours and I don't know, I, I let, me show you, let me show you close. So my skin still looks okay. I think this cream foundation is amazing. I had no issues with it. I think my skin looks great. I have no complaints. The only thing is I wish I got a little bit of a darker shade. Bronzer turned out great. I'm, I'm impressed. I absolutely, absolutely love the foundation. This is his first complexion line and I'm gonna say it did an amazing job. I absolutely love it. I, I really do. I will link the cream foundations down below. I will link the setting powder down below. I'll also link the poreless puff down below if you're interested in checking any of those out. And you can get everything on Beautylish, which is a great, great site. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will link everything down below as well as everything else that's on my face, like my eyes and my lips. And that's everything. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you all again soon.